Okay, moving on. Next, we need to create a ground check that we can attach to our character. Come up here to Game Object, and we'll create an empty game object. Let's call this game object Ground Check. I'm going to drag Ground Check onto character so that it's nested within it. We can't see it yet, so with Ground Check selected, I'm going to select an icon. Now we can see it. I'm going to adjust the position of it so that it's right at the feet of my character. Like so. Now I'm going to select the character again. Come down here to our character's control script and we have this ground check slot. I'm going to grab ground check and drag it onto the ground check slot. Now let's select the character again. Up at the top, let's create a layer for the character. So select layer, add layer. Here in one of the empty slots, I'll create a slot called or a layer called player. Select character again, layer, player. Select yes to change the children. That means ground check will also be the player layer. Scrolling down to the bottom, um, I'm going to change what is ground to everything, but then uncheck player. Now let's create a Boolean variable. So in the animator, I'm going to select the plus sign, select bool, and we'll call this ground. Okay, now let's press play. Our character should be able to move back and forth. There we go. And we can see our character's walking along just fine. His legs are moving kind of fast, but I think that's okay. So I'm going to leave my samples at 24 frames a second for this animation. Again, you can adjust that right here. Make sure your character is selected. And go to your animation window. And these are our two animation states. OK. Now, I'm going to uncheck Maximize on Play in my game view so that we can watch down here. I'm going to press play. Notice that ground is checked. If I walk my character off the ground, notice it's unchecked. We're going to use that to our advantage here. When ground is checked, then it will be in a walking or an idle state. When ground is unchecked, it's going to move to the jump animation that we're going to create. Okay, let's go to our sprites, select the jump animation, same thing again, 2048, multiple, apply, open the sprite editor, um, type to grid cell by size, in my case it's 256 by 256, and slice and then hit apply now we're going to do this part a little bit different than we did our idle and our walk animations what we're going to do is we're going to create lots of separate animations and then blend them together so with the character selected I'm going to come over here to Let's see, animation, and create a new clip. We'll call this one, well first I want to make sure that it's saved in my animations folder. And we're going to call this jump one. 
And let's do this several more times. Well, let's see actually. How many, we have 14 frames here. Well, it looks like 13. However, I don't want them all. I only need a few of these. Oh, let's make seven of them, okay? So what we'll do is we'll come over here and create six more of these. So we'll call this one jump two, jump three, and so on. Okay, as you can see, they've all been added to our animator. And as you can see, we have them up here. So I'm going to select jump one, and I'm going to pick one of my frames here. I'm going to actually pick, oh, let's see, this first one, and drag it onto jump one. This isn't the first frame in my animation. It's right when my character is really starting to jump. I'm going to select jump two and pull the next frame in. Jump three, pull the next frame in. Four, pull the next frame in. Five, and six, and seven. There we go. Okay, we're not actually going to use them inside of our animator, so let's go ahead and select these and delete them. To delete, I'm going to hold down Command, Delete. Okay, now, we've removed them from our animation. However, if we go into our animations folder, we still have them and we can still use them. Okay, let's create another parameter variable. This will be a float and we'll call it vSpeed. Again, note how I'm spelling things. Now let's create a blend tree. 